This video is meant for anyone who's struggling with the skill of finding coordinates using latitude and longitude. So this is a grid set up with latitude and longitude lines. The most important latitude line is the equator. So right here. The, equ the equator divides the Earth into a northern section or a northern half called the northern hemisphere and a southern half called the southern hemisphere. Any latitude lines that run parallel to the equator, they're labeled right here. They're labeled north if they're above the equator. This is 60 degrees north, 75 degrees north. And if they're below the equator, they're labeled south. 15 degrees south, oops. 30 degrees south, and, and so on with the rest. The um, prime meridian divides the Earth into a west side, or a west half, and an east half. Anything in the western hemisphere is going to be labeled west. These are longitude lines. Anything to the east of the prime meridian is going to be labeled east longitude. So you have 30 degrees east longitude. 60 degrees east longitude, 90 degrees east longitude, and so on. If you are given a point and you're asked to find what the coordinate is of that point, you have to give the latitude and the longitude. So what I do is I put my fingers on the point and I trace the longitude line up to its label, 120 degrees west. And I trace the latitude line laterally to its label, 30 degrees north. So this coordinate is 30 degrees north, 120 degrees west. Some people like to use rulers when they're first learning latitude and longitude. So you can even easier kind of see where those two lines intersect. 30 degrees north. Oops. 30 degrees north right there. And 120 degrees west. Still others like to just kind of draw a dotted line. Oops. Let's use a marker that kind of sticks out a little. And that kind of helps them identify the latitude and longitude line of the point. So we would write this point. Thirty degrees north, one hundred twenty oops, degrees west. And again, that's that point right there. If we did it again, um, let's take maybe 30 degrees north, 120 degrees west. That point right there. We can find this one doing the same thing. Trace the longitude line to see what longitude it's at, 90 degrees east. Trace the latitude line, it's at 30 degrees north. So this point is at 30 degrees north, 90 degrees east. Um, let's go south of the equator a little bit. Actually a lot of it. And let's see where this point is at. The latitude is 60 degrees south. 
the longitude is 60 degrees east. So this point would be written 60 degrees south, comma, 60 degrees east. Let's take an actual map of the Earth. The same thing applies. So if I put a point, let's say right there, we could identify where it's located by tracing the latitude line all the way over. It's at 30 degrees south. And then trace the longitude line up. Oops. Ooh, it falls between 60 degrees east and 90 degrees east, so it must be 75 degrees east. So this specific point is 30 degrees south and 75 degrees east. So it's 30 degrees south of the equator and 75 degrees east of the prime meridian. And it's in the Indian Ocean. So hopefully this video sort of helps clarify how to find latitude and longitude coordinates. Um, there's other videos on my channel about it from other sources as well that are really good. So um, check that out if you're still confused and hopefully we can solve this problem for you. Have a great one.